Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and tonight I'm working on a tractor. I'm trying to fabricate a belt guard. Uh, I'll show you the tractor and show you what I'm trying to do. So this is the tractor, and on the right side it's got the guard, and on the left side the guard is missing. So uh, I've often thought about doing this, and I don't want to take too much time doing it, so I'm just going to kind of go through and make a kind of crude belt cover um, so let's get going I guess I should mention this tractor everything's good with it um, I'm gonna put a belt on it but uh, it's gonna take like two weeks to get a belt guard for this thing and I want to sell this tractor like ASAP and get it out of my way so that's why I'm making this guard I figured take me an hour to make something and I don't have to wait two weeks Like I said, this, the plan is to be kind of quick and crude here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so that's a welding magnet, 90 degree. This metal's a little bit higher, and there's kind of a curve down here. So when I go across like this, they're actually pretty close to level. They're within an eighth of an inch. That should be good as long as this thing reaches. So, I'm going to back this one up a hair. I'm going to cut that one off and this one right there. So we'll just make those cuts. Alright guys, so I've been kind of figuring out the way I like it. We got a magnet here and I put a magnet on the other side and I've lined up this top edge. It's even here. This side's not even. Nothing's welded yet. But what I'm going to do is take an angle gauge like this and I'm going to figure out that angle and we'll get these two pieces just kind of tacked uh, nice and flat and then we're going to have to remove some material down here so it fits the curve of the deck and we're going to line the top a little later. So I got it set up I have magnets holding it in place and I have that angle gauge in here so everything's all set so I'm just going to tack this quick. So we, so we tacked this side, that looks fine, and uh, this side's still held in place with the magnet. Now what I want to do is line up this top corner with that, and I'm going to put the magnet on there, hang on. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you this, but I got the top lined up and then there's kind of a gap down here. So I've marked this in yellow and now what I want to do is I want to transfer this curve on the deck over to this piece of metal. So this is right where that piece is going to go and I'm going to take this thing and we're going to hold it right where it's supposed to be and hopefully transfer the curve of the deck. There it is. So that's the curve that we want. And now what we're going to do is put that on here and scribe that 
and cut it out with a grinder. So here's our curve. We're going to line that up right there. Trying to keep it as I'm going to I'm sort of eyeballing it to keep it square. Like I said, this thing's kind of crude. So we're going to go like that. And then I'm going to figure out the rest of that. Right, I took a look at it. I think that this is supposed to go, you know, it's got to go from that corner. And it's got to kind of blend back this way, like this. So... Now what we got to do is just take the grinder and cut that and that should fit pretty close to where it needs to. Stay later guys. And guess what? I got this thing shaped and cut and it's like the reverse pattern so it's screwed up um, yeah I needed to add material not really take away here so I've come up with a new plan of how I want to shape the bottom but anyhow uh, th this is welded here this is just held in place with the magnet so I'm gonna figure out what this angle is and I want to get this side tacked just like that side and then uh, we're actually going to scribe the bottom so I got this laid out kind of set in place both corners are welded and I'm going to be using this as a scribe there's a point on it I'll just put this up here for some weight I can see that I can mark it with a marker now to see it better. I took a paint marker and kind of went over that scribe mark so now you can see it. There's our curve. And we're going to take off. A little hard to see in the light there, but there's a line there. So if I can cut that nice and straight with the grinder, I think we'll have it. And then we can attach the top. So I got the bottom trimmed and that looks real nice, I'm happy with it. Everything's flush and the tops are even. So this side is a little narrower than this side so that it's level. So uh, I'm happy with that. Next thing I gotta do is put in a couple tabs here so that we can screw this onto the deck and then we'll attach the top. 
So I got three tabs stacked in there and I'm going to be using this chemo drill. I've been liking it. This is a, a self-tapping spring-loaded punch. Come on. It's on hammer. I was drilling a little concrete with this thing. So I got the tabs on there, I got it set where I want it. Just marking where I need to drill. And then these will be pretty heavy duty self tappers. So I'm gonna pre-drill for these. Just punching where I wanna drill. So now we set that on there and then this top piece this is a eighth inch plate and it has a bend on it I'm gonna keep the bend and I'm gonna put it on the inside to really stiffen this thing up so it's basically gonna go on there like that I need to trim it and then weld it on. I decided to flip this over this way to keep this edge away from this belt. So I got it marked right here. So it's going to line up with that left corner. We'll tack it on and then cut away. So I pulled the mower in by the welder. Um, I've decided to bolt that thing on and I want to tack the top in place so that way I don't get the top attached and those holes and brackets don't line up or move. So I just want to do some tacking here. And then we'll bring it up and weld it. So I'm going to weld this from the inside, cut it, and then weld the outside.
So when I was cutting this, I got my wheel hooked on the wrong side of this and didn't realize it. Now I have a huge gap there. So what I'm going to do is weld the rod in here for strength and to fill it and then uh, we'll clean it up on the outside and hopefully it looks good. Got it all welded up. This is the part I screwed up here with the pipe. So we're going to do a little bit of grinding here. Just uh, clean this thing up. And we're going to put on our Marigold Yellow Cub Cadet paint. Alright guys, so I <clears throat> got it all welded up. This was that bad side where it was all screwed up. So that looks good. Um, I'm going to put some paint on this. And then we're going to put it on the tractor and that's it. Starting out with a clear primer. Putting on Rust-Oleum Gloss Marigold. It's a good match for Cub Cadet. This is before. another awesome video from double white six and if you're interested in a shirt mention it in the comments and we'll show you how to get them bye this one turned out pretty good I'm happy with it unfortunately the uh the decks in kind of actually the decks in decent shape it's just the paint's bad i think this thing was left outside because the hood was all kind of weathered but um i ended up cleaning that i used the 2000 grit sandpaper a little bit of soapy water and uh, then I put a polish on it but I didn't paint the deck but that cover looks good it's safer and uh, you know it serves a function and like I said I don't have to wait two weeks and pay 70 bucks to get a cover so uh, we should be good to go with this one anyhow if you're not a subscriber think about subscribing you can hit that notification bell down below if you're interested in a t-shirt, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to be ordering some quantity in the upcoming days. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.